What is up, my fine foodies? Welcome to Taste It or Waste It. I'm Brandon Coppridge, and on this show, we'll be showing you clips of some of the most bizarre, unusual, and in some cases, grossest foods from around the world, and then rank them. Today, I've invited Nick Tubach and Lauren Uhlenberg. Say hi to the world, you two. Hey, guys. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Throughout the show, we will be ranking foods from, yeah, I'd eat that, to, it's a no for me. And at the end, we'll reveal our final rankings and then choose one out of the four foods we'd most likely try. Now, let's get this show on the road. Our first clip of the night is called Kasu Marzu, a traditional delicacy from Sardinia and France known as maggot cheese. Yeah. Oh. It's a sheep's milk cheese containing live insect larvae said oh. to give this bizarre cheese its delicious flavor and texture. Nick, Lauren, would you cut this cheese? The name of the show is Taste It or Waste It. That's I'm it. wasting this one. Ooh. I do not want anything wriggling down my throat or stomach. It's a waste right away. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna agree with you on that. Lauren, what do you think? Man, I'm gonna have to disagree with both of you because I'm a, I'm a cheese gal and the maggots, that's just a plus. Wow, so wriggling little worm things all in your mouth, mm -hmm. feeling up in it, there? It, what, it's, what's the difference between maggots and Pop Rocks, you know what I mean? It's just that burst of texture. With a little Diet Coke, okay. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, some crackers, maggot cheese and oh, crackers. Is it spread? No, yeah, it looked I'm, like it spread. Okay. I'm gonna do a thumbs down for that one. Okay. Well, well, luckily there's another dish, so let's see if this one tickles your fancy there, Nick. This dish is called century eggs, a Chinese delicacy made by preserving duck, chicken, or quail eggs in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, quicklime, and rice. You leave it to hull for several weeks to several months, and the yolk mm. becomes a dark green to gray mm. color with a creamy consistency and strong flavor. Everyone's tried eggs, right? Especially for breakfast. But Nick and Lauren, would you crack into this bad boy? Hmm. Those actually look pretty good. Like, not just good, but kind of beautiful. Like, they definitely appear as a delicacy. It's um, like a yeah. Picasso on a plate, I, uh -huh. I'd say. With yeah. the, like, pink pickled ginger. Yeah. It's a really nice touch. That's an interesting way to describe it as a Picasso on a plate, but it looks gross. And I don't <laughs> want to eat it. Sorry. I mean, it might taste good, but it's like a, a rotten egg kind of taste. Like rotten maggot cheese, okay. what's like the difference? Buried in ash, that's super interesting. That's like, respectable. Yeah. Unique, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, well, so, hey, we got, okay, we've gotta go to a quick commercial break, but stay tuned, because when we return from the break, we've got a food that is slimy, wet, and sure to make you cringe. Stay here for more on Taste It or Waste It. What do you wish for? A nice life? Nice things? Or do you wish for something more? A sense of purpose? Do you wish to discover a cure? To write code that cracks an unsolvable question? To further our exploration into space? Or to invent something that changes everything right here on Earth? Well. If that's your wish, make yourself ready. Because when you look back, you'll see that you didn't just make wishes, you realized them. Welcome back to Taste It or Waste It. Let's get into the next clip. This one is an interesting dish. It's live octopus, both slimy Ooh. and potentially deadly. 
Koreans believe eating live octopus is a surefire way to build strength and stamina. It's got eight arms and over a thousand suction cups. That sure sounds like a mouthful. Nick, Lauren, what do y'all think? Does it suck or would you try your luck? I'm rejecting this one on principle because octopi are extremely intelligent and I would feel terrible just eating one live. Man, yeah. you know, it's got the brain power. It's going to know that you're digging into it. Oh. And like, it's just so slimy and wriggly. Yeah, that guy's smile, that is whatever the He's opposite, saying, whatever that is, is the opposite saying, of yeah. how I feel. <laughs> Lauren, what about you? Come on. He's, the guy was giving it, yeah, you can't deny that. I know fake emotion pretty well because I fake my emotion every day and my life sucks. So I don't need this octopus already. But I don't think that this maggot octopus- curl. Maggot curl. Maggot excuse me. Octopus, on the other hand, might be okay. Yeah. But also really bad, if you get what I'm saying. I know, that ink pouch, yeah. Exa What's the deadly part? Well, I mean, it, they've got suckers everywhere, but hold that thought because we've got one more dish that might tickle your fancy more than it's octopus dish. All right, folks, our final dish of the night is sandworm pancakes. The ingredients range from live worms to mandarin peel, dill, oil, and an assortment of exotic spices. It's then made into patties and cooked to about the size of an ordinary hamburger. They're considered to be flavorful, tasting something like mincemeat pie. Lauren, Nick, come on. Would you eat this dish or does it make your skin crawl? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think the mandarin peel is actually weirder than the worms. Oh. I've never heard of mandarin peel in anything except for cocktails, but um, at least they're cooked, so I wouldn't feel too weird about like taking my time working my way through the fact that they're worms yeah. in the patty and then taking my time to eat it as Lauren. well. Lauren? I'm a sucker for uh, fried food, Yeah. but not worms, surprisingly, except for the maggots, as we all know. But these worms, I think that, that just crosses the line for me. I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna disagree with you. These worms mm -hmm. look delicious and they're cooked into a burger, so I think it's time we decide which one of these foods are the best. You two, we've conquered all the bizarre foods we had today. Let's check and see which one received the highest score. If you could turn your boards around and reveal your rankings. Remember, five is if you'd taste it, or one fork if you'd waste it. Well, I put my, my maggot cheese is, is the number one for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. And what have you got? Definitely the century eggs. The century eggs for you? For me, it's gonna be the sandworm pancakes. Ooh. Uh, we've got a tie, so. Uh, well, so since it's my show, I'm gonna say the dish of the night is sandworm pancakes. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Join us next time for more freaky foods, tasty treats, and everything in between. I'd also like to thank Nick and Lauren for giving their expert opinions tonight. Thank you, you two. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Again, I'm Brandon Coffridge, and you've been watching Taste It or Waste It. Keep those stomachs strong, and we'll see you next week. Adios.